Hey there. Hi, it's Linda Cahill coming to you live from my kitchen today. And I am getting ready to prepare a fabulous new recipe. I know it's fabulous because I made it yesterday for me and my husband to test it. Um, so I wanted to make it again today for a friend who is in need. So the recipe is called uh, ravioli lasagna. And um, it's in our new season's best cookbook and um, it is a budget-friendly recipe. It serves 12, has a 10-minute prep time, and about a 45-minute bake time. So I am going to go ahead and get started to show you how simple and easy and delicious this recipe really is. So in my classic batter bowl, I have um, a large jar, 40 ounces of um, a marinara sauce, and then I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. Um, did you know that the cap of our seasonings measures a tablespoon? So I'm just gonna use the cap right there to dump a tablespoon of the Italian seasoning right into my bowl. And then I'm going to use my smooth edge can opener to show you how easy it is to open up a can. Um, so the, the smooth edge goes on top of the can and not on the side. And if you own one and you struggle with it, um, if you go to YouTube and type in Pamper Chef Smooth Edge Can Opener, there's instructions on how to use it. So, but once you put it on top of your can, if you can lift your can, you're ready to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this can. And it has a couple features on it too that I think you're gonna like. So when you get to the end, you reverse quarter turn it, okay? And then this here, let, let me show you. This here controls this little beak thing here. So it allows you to pick the lid off without touching it. So, and it's called a smooth edge can opener because that's exactly what you get, a smooth edge um, that is never gonna cut you or mess up your tools. So I'm just gonna dump this or dump this can of diced tomatoes right into the marinara along with the Italian seasoning. Put it in my recycle bin there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix this all up. And then I am going to Go ahead, and what I love about this bowl is that it has the measurements etched into the glass so that um, you can see how much you're using or how much is in that bowl. So it calls for one third of the sauce to go in the bottom of my nine by 13 rectangular baker. So this is measuring right now six cups. So I'm gonna take it down to four cups and just and let me see this oh my gosh i'm so good i am so good okay so there's four cups left now still in my batter bowl but i'm just gonna go ahead and spread all this goodness all over the bottom of my baker and just even that out okay so this is the easy peasy part i'm going to take frozen uh, raviolis and just layer, layer them on the bottom like so. Remember, I did say this is uh, ravioli lasagna and just another way to get dinner on the table in no time if you've had a, a busy day and just, you know, wanna eat something good and simple and easy. That one's frozen together, we'll stick that aside. Um, <clears throat> this is one of those meals that 10 minutes and it's, ready to bake uh, for your for your meal. So let's finish this up like so. Okay, and then it calls for frozen spinach, but I love using fresh. And so I'm just gonna take some fresh spinach and 
um, make a layer of fresh spinach all over. Now, uh, of the raviolis. Okay, just like that. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, seeing how good that's looking? Okay, now I went ahead and shredded some mozzarella cheese, and I like the the thick cut when I'm making any kind of meal like this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a layer of that. Okay, and then we're going to add two more cups of the sauce. And, yep, I'm so good at this. Oh my gosh, pat myself on the back. No, I, I just really love this bowl. This bowl is going to be a go-to bowl for your kitchen because no matter if you're baking a cake or putting together any kind of recipe, this, it's a four, eight cups, four quarts. So it's just the, like the perfect bowl for whatever you're doing. Okay, so now we're going to do, repeat this step again. Just another layer of frozen raviolis on top of our first layer. And I do have another bag here, and these are just the Giarusas. So, here we go, here we go. And, That's it. So now we're going to put another layer of fresh spinach on top of that layer. Okay. Very easy, very simple. And then cheese on top of that. And the last layer will be sauce on top of that. So, okay. And then, of course, as if there's not enough cheese already, we're going to finish up with another little bit of cheese on top. Okay. Okay, so there we go. And there is dinner, ravioli lasagna, ready in under 10 minutes. Yes, only seven minutes and 58, eight minutes all together to put this recipe together. So this is gonna bake at 400 for like 45 minutes uncovered. So I'm gonna just set that right there. Um, but one of the other things that I wanted to show you real quickly, cause I am making a salad also. And um, <clears throat> one of the tools that I love using making a salad is our rapid prep mandolin. And the rapid prep mandolin folds flat for easy storage. It has uh, three thicknesses back here. I'm just gonna use the, th the slicing thickness. And then it has one through eight for the, th or for the thickness of whatever it is you're slicing. So I am going to slice an English cucumber um, to put in my salad. Let me use that. Use the scissors to get this plastic off. Okay. Okay, so let's, and then I'm gonna open up the um, tool part here and grab a knife here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top Hope you can see that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the, that out, cut the top of this cucumber off, and just go ahead and stick that in there. 
and you see how nice and even those cucumber slices are going to be in this fresh salad that I'm gonna be putting together. And of course, I'm gonna do the same with carrots. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna slice. But here we go. Oh my gosh, the smell of fresh cucumbers, I love it. Well, I'm gonna eat one. Okay, so that's what I wanted to show you today. How to make this ravioli lasagna and a salad and dinner is on the table. So thanks for watching.